Okay, for the second question, we are going to be taking the derivative with respect to the variable data. And then here we have the equation 1 over cosecant theta. So keep in mind, whenever we can do any algebra or any trick on the equation that we have, we will be able to make our equations much easier to work with. Keep in mind, well, I'll just say, notice that 1 over cosecant theta, and this is nothing but just sine theta as one of the trig identity, right? So this question is just nothing but just asking you what's the derivative of sine theta. So you don't need to go through the quotient rule, you don't need to do anything crazy. This is all you need to do. You just need to ask yourself, oh, okay, what's the derivative of sine theta? And this is something that you remember from the table where you should have seen this before. It's just cosine theta. And that will be that would be answer choice D. That's it. Okay, that's it.